early 2024, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, he predicted China was two to three years behind the U.S. in AI. But now Schmidt is singing a different tune. Here he is on ABC's This Week. Well, I used to think we were a couple of years behind, uh, ahead of China, but China has caught up in the last six months in a way that is remarkable. The fact of the matter is that a couple of the Chinese uh, programs, uh, one, for example, is called DeepSeek, looks like they've caught up. Think Silicon Valley has AI locked down. Think again. A virtually unknown Chinese lab, DeepSeek, has just achieved something extraordinary. They've built a revolutionary AI model that's smarter, faster, and cheaper than anything we've seen before. And they did it for a fraction of the cost of the U.S.'s open AI. How did they pull it off? And what does it mean for you? Imagine a world where your virtual assistant doesn't just respond to your questions, but anticipates your needs with almost eerie accuracy. Imagine your healthcare provider diagnosing illnesses with precision tools powered by cutting-edge AI. Tools that didn't come from Silicon Valley, but from a lab halfway across the globe. Stick around. This story could change the way you think about technology forever. DeepSeek, a lab few had even heard of six months ago, has thrown the global AI race into chaos. Their latest model, DeepSeek V3, was developed with just $5.6 million. For comparison, OpenAI is burning through $5 billion annually, and in 2024, Google's AI budget exceeds $50 billion. Yet DeepSeek's model outperforms them in key areas, from solving complex math problems to debugging code. This achievement isn't just a headline. It's a revolution. Imagine an app on your phone that doesn't just give you directions, but plans your entire day based on your habits. Envision an AI tutor teaching your child in a way tailored perfectly to their learning pace, or a small town doctor using AI diagnostics to save lives with unprecedented accuracy. DeepSeek's technology isn't just theoretical, it's practical and it's poised to touch every aspect of our lives. How did they do it? By leveraging innovative techniques like model distillation, which allows smaller models to mimic larger, more expensive ones. They also used a combination of floating point 8-bit precision and a mixture of experts framework, optimizing their limited resources to achieve maximum performance. Necessity drove these innovations without access to the high-end hardware used by US tech giants DeepSeek found ways to do more with less, proving that ingenuity can outpace raw resources. Moreover, DeepSeek's efficiency-focused approach could revolutionize the cost structure of AI development. By demonstrating that cutting-edge results can be achieved without multi-billion dollar budgets, they've set a new precedent for what's possible in AI. This is especially impactful for startups and academic institutions that previously struggled to compete with tech giants. What once seemed out of reach for smaller players is now attainable, reshaping the entire ecosystem of AI research and deployment. DeepSeek's rise is as enigmatic as it is impressive. The lab was reportedly spun out of Highflyer Quant, a Chinese hedge fund managing $8 billion in assets. Its founder, Liang Wenfeng has avoided the spotlight adding to the intrigue. Unlike Silicon Valley giants, with detailed charters on AI ethics, DeepSeek's mission statement is cryptic. Unravel the mystery of AGI with curiosity. Answer the essential question with long-termism. This secrecy raises questions. Where did DeepSeek source its training data? How did it assemble a team capable of achieving what others thought impossible? And how did it navigate the U.S. semiconductor export bans, which were specifically designed to slow China's progress in AI? One clue lies in China's broader strategy. Over the past decade, the Chinese government has invested heavily in AI, creating an ecosystem where academia, startups, and state enterprises collaborate seamlessly. DeepSeek is a product of this environment blending academic rigor with industrial pragmatism. But DeepSeek's approach also hints at something deeper, a willingness to take risks and explore uncharted territory. Unlike U.S. companies, which often focus on scaling existing technologies, DeepSeek embraced experimentation, leveraging unconventional methods to achieve their goals. For example, they employed innovative approaches to reduce computational waste, cutting costs, 
while maintaining performance. Additionally, reports suggest that DeepSeek has a team of developers and researchers who previously worked at top-tier tech firms and universities. This brain gain highlights China's growing ability to attract and retain global talent in fields like machine learning and computational linguistics. It's not just about the resources, it's about the people behind the innovation. If DeepSeek can accomplish this under restrictive conditions, what could they achieve with access to unlimited resources? Those chip restrictions from the U.S. government, they were intended to slow down the race, to keep American tech on American ground, to stay ahead in the race. What we want to do is we want to keep it in this country. China is a competitor and others are competitors. So instead, the restrictions might have been just what China needed. Necessity is the mother of invention. Um, because they had to go figure out workarounds, they actually ended up building something a lot more efficient. It's really remarkable the amount of progress they've made with as little capital as it's taken them to make that progress. It drove them to get creative with huge implications. DeepSeek is an open source model, meaning that developers have full access and they can customize its weights or fine tune it to their liking. The global AI race just hit a turning point. For years, Silicon Valley has been the undisputed leader, but DeepSeek's breakthrough challenges that dominance in ways no one expected. Just a year ago, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt claimed China was years behind the U.S. in AI. Today, that narrative is crumbling. DeepSeek isn't an anomaly. Startups like Zero-One.AI are rapidly gaining ground, achieving unicorn status and generating millions in revenue within months. Even tech giants like Alibaba are slashing costs on large language models, making them more accessible to developers. This isn't just a technical race. It's a battle for global influence. The U.S. has long relied on its technological edge to maintain its geopolitical power. But if China can innovate under the constraints of U.S. export bans, what happens when those restrictions no longer hold? The implications are staggering, and they go far beyond Silicon Valley. Imagine the ripple effects on global industries. From manufacturing to education, a shift in AI leadership could redefine competitive advantages. For example, Chinese-built AI models could power everything from autonomous vehicles to logistic systems, challenging the dominance of American companies like Tesla and Amazon. Moreover, nations relying on U.S. technology might shift their allegiances, seeking partnerships with Chinese firms offering more affordable solutions. Furthermore, DeepSeek's rise underscores a fundamental shift in the AI narrative. The race isn't just about hardware or data, it's about ingenuity and execution. While American firms focus on perfecting their models, Chinese labs like DeepSeek are finding ways to leapfrog ahead, rewriting the playbook as they go. This shift forces Western companies to rethink their strategies, balancing innovation with cost efficiency. One of DeepSeek's boldest moves was making their model open source. This decision is reshaping the AI landscape, allowing developers worldwide to build on their technology for a fraction of the cost. DeepSeek's inference cost? Just 10 cents per million tokens, compared to OpenAI's $4.40. For developers, this is revolutionary. Imagine being able to create advanced AI applications from smarter chatbots to predictive analytics tools without breaking the bank. Open source models lower the barriers to entry, democratizing access to advanced AI capabilities. But they also raise questions about accountability. What if these tools are used maliciously to spread misinformation or automate cyber attacks? Moreover, open source AI levels the playing field, allowing smaller players to compete with giants. But it also raises questions about accountability. Who ensures that these tools are used responsibly? And what happens if a model like DeepSeeks becomes the foundation for systems that prioritize control over freedom? The open source approach also has geopolitical implications. If DeepSeeks model becomes widely adopted, it could embed Chinese technology and potentially Chinese values into global AI infrastructure. This raises urgent questions about digital sovereignty and the balance of power in the tech world. 
Policymakers worldwide will need to grapple with the tension between technological openness and national security. Could DeepSeek's open source success be both its greatest strength and its biggest vulnerability? Silicon Valley is facing a reckoning. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman recently dismissed DeepSeek's success as mere copying, saying, It's easy to replicate something that works. It's much harder to do something new and risky. But is that entirely fair? After all, OpenAI itself built on innovations like Google's transformer architecture to create ChatGPT. The real issue is that Silicon Valley's traditional advantage, access to capital and cutting-edge technology, may no longer be enough. DeepSeek's success shows that ingenuity can sometimes outpace resources. And with open source models leveling the playing field, even smaller teams can compete at the highest levels. The implications for global innovation are profound. If DeepSeek's approach becomes the norm, the barriers to entry for AI development will plummet. This could democratize innovation, but it could also erode the dominance of established players like Google and Microsoft. For Silicon Valley, the question isn't just how to compete. It's how to adapt to a world where the rules have fundamentally changed. Additionally, Silicon Valley's focus on monetization could become a liability. While companies like OpenAI rely on subscription models to sustain their massive R&D costs, DeepSeek's open source strategy bypasses those constraints, creating a new standard for efficiency and accessibility. The tech giants must now justify their premium pricing models in a market where affordable alternatives are gaining traction. DeepSeek's $5.6 million model isn't just a technical achievement. It's a cultural one. It challenges the notion that bigger is always better. But the implications go beyond AI labs and tech companies. Imagine healthcare tools that diagnose diseases more accurately and at lower costs or educational platforms that adapt to each student's unique learning style. These are the real-world applications that could transform lives. At the same time, DeepSeek's success raises ethical questions. If AI tools become dominated by models shaped in China, how will that influence global norms around privacy, freedom of speech, and transparency? Already, there are concerns about bias and censorship in Chinese AI models. What happens if these tools become the default for developers worldwide? Furthermore, the democratization of AI could have unintended consequences. While it empowers small developers, it also creates opportunities for bad actors. From deep fakes to disinformation campaigns, the misuse of powerful AI models is a growing concern. How do we balance accessibility with responsibility? Governments and international organizations may need to establish new frameworks to regulate the use of open source AI without stifling innovation. The global AI race has entered a new phase. It's no longer just about who has the most advanced models. It's about who can make those models accessible and impactful. DeepSeek's breakthrough has forced Silicon Valley to rethink its strategies. Should they double down on closed source models or embrace the collaborative potential of open source? The stakes couldn't be higher. AI will shape everything from how we work and learn to how nations defend themselves. As the U.S. and China vie for dominance, the question isn't just who will lead, but what values will guide the future of technology. This isn't just about technology. It's about the future of how we live, work, and communicate. DeepSeek's success could redefine global norms, shifting the balance of power in ways we're only beginning to understand. Will the world embrace this paradigm shift, or will it become a battleground for competing ideologies? As the race heats up, the question remains. Is this just the beginning of China's rise in AI, or can the U.S. adapt fast enough to reclaim its lead? The race is on, and the outcome could shape the next century. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.